All right, some more expert opinion on a possible Democratic Senate vote, Republican vote here on the so-called sequester and fiscal cliff. We bring in Senator Jerry Moran, Republican from the great state of Kansas. Senator Moran, uh, always great to have you on the show. First of all, Senator, will a majority of Republicans vote for this deal, even though I'm not exactly sure what the deal is on the sequester side? Will a majority of Republicans vote for something? Well, Larry, I think there is an interest on the part of Republicans of solving this problem, but I think just what you said is how most Republicans feel. We need to know the details of the deal. And certainly, I'm on the side that if sequestration is going to be postponed, it's going to be paid for by reduced spending elsewhere. Uh, we're not going to pay for more spending with increased taxes. That's exactly the wrong direction to go. And so I think while there's an interest and a belief that we're getting close to a deal, there's yet enough unknown that you can't answer your question at this time. And you know, uh, it just troubles me enormously that if you run off the sequester and you rely on tax revenues to make up the difference, which is essentially what the president said today in his goofy, uh, insulting press conference. I haven't heard Biden say that, I haven't heard McConnell. That's what, that's what Obama said. But if that happens, if the sequester is replaced by tax hikes, I want to ask you if this thing can actually pass. In other words, two qu 51 votes or 60 votes and Democrats and Republicans. Can the two come together for a 51 vote majority? Is that how it might work? My guess is that this could very well be a 51 vote a margin issue. It, it, it's undecided. I've asked that question, whether it's 51 or 60, uh, unknown at this point. The, I, I want to tell you, though, what you said about the president's remarks are absolutely correct. In fact, I think the president, it appeared to me that he was trying to, to make certain the deal didn't pass. The things he said, the way he conducted himself really was in your face. Uh, and was really souring to many of us uh, to watch the president perform in that way. And the, the real, despite the kind of personality or politics of that, the real disturbing thing, the development of the day that I find so troubling is the president is saying, even with these tax increases that are included in this potential agreement, that's not enough. I'm coming back and asking for more taxes to pay for more spending in the future. And if we're gonna do anything about deficit reduction, it's going to be done with tax increases. That's the first, first time he's really said that to the public, that we're going to go uh, back next year for more taxes. As far as I know, it's the first time he's really said absolutely. that. Absolutely. And from my point of view, if, if this deal is accomplished tonight, and it includes the tax increases on 1% of the American taxpayers, if we are able to protect 99%, but the other 1%, uh, their taxes are going to increase. Um, this is it. There is no more taxes. The president has campaigned on this issue. He has had his, in that sense, victory. Uh, and he has no standing to come back and ask Republicans or, in my view, any member of Congress to vote to raise taxes any further. The focus has got to be on spending, spending, yeah. spending. That's the problem. You know, just on your earlier point, there are a lot of people, maybe they're cynics, maybe they're realists, who say the president wanted to go over the cliff, who say that Harry Reid wanted to go over the cliff. And, and you know what, Senator, my thought is this. Maybe they did and they blame Republicans. But the reality is a recession would sink Obama's second term. That's all there is to it. You can blame Republicans in the House and Senate, but recession will sink Obama's second term. That's why I think the president played his hand all wrong today. Well, the president, I don't think, did himself any favors, and I, I certainly had the sense all along. In fact, I've been skeptical that there would be a deal. My sense is that the Democrat leader in the Senate, as well as the president, was not interested, had concluded the politics were against Republicans if we went over the cliff. But in my view, that may be true. The polls show that to be the case, but that's in the short term. And in the long term, the president and Democrats will own uh, the recession right. that might occur if we can't get this thing fixed. Just, just real quick, sir, we appreciate your time very much, Senator. Miranda, Kansas. Um, will there be a vote tonight? Do you think in the Senate there'll be a something to vote on and b a vote? Well, Larry, you know that's the multi-million-dollar question, <laughs> billion-dollar question. But it sure seems to me that we're headed that direction, and the vote is likely to occur yet tonight, or earlier in the morning, as, as Senator Colburn said. All right. Many, many thanks, uh, Kansas Republican Senator Jerry Moran. Happy Appreciate New Year, Larry. Time. Happy New Year to you, sir. Thanks. All right. Now the markets may.